Mr. 87. Yes, sir. How does negative self-talk affect our emotional well-being? That's a very good question. You know, uh, one thing I love about these questions um, is that mostly these they, they they highlight something on also on my end. You know, it's like uh, that emotion that you always get, like you're also being taught something because you know they they're so good that at least they, they, they sometimes sit with you for a while and you're able just to, uh, you know, kind of reflect on uh, the things that uh, you've been through and the things that you're about to say. So coming to negative self-talk, right? I feel it's a very, very, uh, it's a disease, you know? It's a disease sometimes. We, we, we've all been through that phase where you are always... Uh, talking down on yourself, you know, I've struggled with it for a while. So, you know, that's something that I've fought with self-doubt, you know, all these things like they've all come into play in most uh, times of my life, you know, and I wouldn't lie. It's not an easy thing like, oh, no, you do this, stuff, then everything goes well. But it's a it's a constant battle that you always need to fight, constant battle that you always need to face. It's not like a one quick solution and everything is done. Boom, now. Nah. It's like with each and every phase of your life, it slowly comes. So um, I've brought some pointers to help me and you, you know, so that we can combat this negative self-talk and whatever it comes with. So point number one is negative words shape negative minds. So being in a space where you are always being negative about every situation everything that you uh everything about you you know slowly you are feeding your mind there's what they call the the conscious and the subconscious mind right so every time you're saying something right um it's like you're slowly planting a seed right so every everything that you say to yourself is a seed being planted if you have watched, there's a, there's a cartoon called Inside Out. It's, it's about emotions, right? So every time um, the, the, the girl uh, used to say some things in her, in her life, it's like she was planting something, right? If she, she went through an event, you know, you'd see how the emotions inside the head were planting those, uh, uh, those things that she was going through. You know, the negative words she was saying. Um, so you'd find that the negative words were being tossed out and the good parts were the ones that were going to be planted because the joy emotion knew that if we plant the negative emotions, they are going to ruin her. But by the end of the day, here's one thing I've learned, right? The Everything is a part of you, okay? All these things that are going through you, they're a part of you. There is, that's why I said it's a constant battle. It's, it's not like you get fully, you know, rid of them. But it's like, how do I maneuver this uh, part of me, right? It's like having two voices. I think you've seen in movies or cartoons where the person or the cartoon has an, an angel on the other side and the devil on the other side, right? So it's, it's the same thing. So you have the positive side and the negative side. So all these things, they come to make up you, right so we all have all these emotions so the better question is how do you maneuver them so negative soft talk all the time will slowly uh, make a negative mind the other point is so criticism fuels anxiety so every time you're criticizing yourself in whatever that you're doing it's like you're, you slowly start to get more anxious about everything you start doing you know the low self-esteem you know, having self-doubt, having the edge of not being proud of yourself. So it's like you're constantly brutaling yourself, constantly piercing yourself to the wall. So have grace. We are all humans. You know, we are human. We are human too. You know, we, are, we all make mistakes. So having a little grace with yourself is very important. The other part is self-doubt blocks growth. And that's one thing I've come to understand, you know, even in my line of work and in everything that I do is like, the moment I start doubting whatever that I'm doing, it's like, okay, already I'm hindering my, my, my growth. 
it's because already, uh, just like they say, right? We are all going through. There's a lot that's happening in the world already. Yeah. So if you, you're the only person who can be kind to you. So the moment you be like, you be there, you join the other side. It's like your future you doesn't have you. I think you've seen those movies where, you know, if you, there's a future you, there's the past you and all that kind of stuff. So it's like there's no one else to look out for you, you know. So the other part is focus, fo focusing on flaws magnifies pain. <clears throat> I never liked my voice, you know. I never liked my voice. The singing part. So, you know, I, I, would, I, would, I would be... I'll be in a space whereby we're talking with the with the, with the owns, right? Like, uh, I want to, <clears throat> just even the thought of me saying, I want to start singing, was just so terrifying. I'm like, if I don't believe that myself, how do they, how can they even believe that, you know? So for a long time, I used to shoot myself down. I love singing a lot, you know? So you'd find that talk already just began crumbling in, just cram crumbling in. And for a long time, you know, I liked, I, I liked, I, like, I lacked the, the sense of just like wanting to uh, believe in myself and being there where I'm like, cool, you know, this is, this is who you are, man. Like embrace that part of you where this is you, this is your voice. You know, that's what God blessed you with. That's, that's just unique to who you are. So it's like getting comfortable in that space where you are in before you slowly start to lose it. And the other part is, um, harsh thoughts darken the mood. Take a breath, you know, breathe, you know. Um, again, I'll repeat, we are all humans, all right? That includes you. Don't be harsh on yourself. Yes, we fail. Failure is not a bad thing, all right? Failure is not a bad thing if you don't sit in it for a while, for a, long, for a longer period of time. It becomes a bad thing when you accept it and say, this is who I am. I'm a failure in life. I can't do anything. Yeah, that, it becomes a problem. But the moment you fail and it's like another given opportunity and chance to do better. I think you've seen people who have played video games, you know, you, your player has lives, right? If you're on a mission, like, I don't know how many lives that you get. The moment you feel it's like they've given you another chance, right? To correct the mistake that you made. So if you went a longer way, you realize that at that step, I made a mistake, I jumped here. So now you try to do another different a different thing. And you later on uh, ending up being successful. So uh, being in a space whereby you are, be compassionate with yourself. Give yourself grace. Yeah.